Are transposons useless, junk, or selfish DNA that exists only to replicate and perpetuate themselves? In fact, there's growing evidence that transposons have been useful in evolution. For example, transposons facilitate the phenomenon of exon shuffling, creating genetic diversity by creating genes with novel functions. They can do this in one of two ways. An example of how transposons can indirectly facilitate genetic diversity might be if two ALU elements had independently inserted into introns on either side of an exon. The rather long ALU DNA sequences could provide the sequence similarity needed to stabilize meiotic synapses to allow unequal recombination with a different region of DNA also containing ALU sequences. This could move the exon from one gene into a new different gene. There it is, there's indirect facilitation. An example of how transposons can directly facilitate genetic diversity would be if two elements flanking an exon, again like the two allo elements, were to transpose as a single retrotransposon. If the target site in the genome were to be an intron of another gene, integration of this, think of it as a composite element, would introduce an exon into the unsuspecting gene, again conferring a new extra function. This kind of transposition should remind you of how bacterial composite transposons work. There's even more evidence for the value of so-called non-coding DNA in our genomes, including transposons and even other repetitive DNA. Similarities between genes and enzymes of transposons and those involved in antibody gene rearrangements point to a role of transposons in the evolution of the immune system a major event increasing genetic diversity in higher animals. Despite the potential of transposons to cause problematic mutations, they, along with all the rest of the repetitive DNA in our genomes, may actually serve as a buffer against deleterious mutations that would otherwise disable our protein coding genes. In addition to any specific functions it may have, all that extra DNA in a genome simply creates a bigger target for random mutations that then simply miss the protein coding genes. So there's ample evidence to suggest that organisms, especially eukaryotes, do not carry an onerous load of useless DNA baggage. In fact, some of the so-called junk DNA is actually transcribed, other than transposons. And we're beginning to discover roles for these transcripts.